Great. Welcome. Good morning, everyone. Here I am on time, I think. Well, yeah, competition hasn't started, so I'm on time. I just loaded up common ground mode. I still need to put out the announcement to let people know I'm streaming, but I'll do that while I'm selling bottles. So how's everyone doing this morning? We got Martin. He says he's not addicted to the game. He just likes it a lot. Me too, Martin. <laughs> As Martin says, welcome to our AA meeting for Common Ground World. I always think that's funny. Dubuka, hello. B Rob, hello. JMR Leroy, Happy Town Sart Tuesday. Let me get on Discord and quickly share the link. Oh, where are you? There's the ground world. And let's just say. Oh, wrong. And type. Hope everyone is ready. I am actually ready. Uh, I only practiced for a couple hours. There we go. Good morning, Rachel. So what's your guess, guys? How many red envelopes do you think I am going to do or able to do? Um, I practiced for a couple hours and I'm happy with the rates I got to. Some of you are probably going to say crazy numbers and you're going to be wrong. But, you know, at least the rate I got to, I, I think it'll be good enough for top 50. We'll see see how it goes it's not even like a 100 optimized like i have a couple spots that i'm not even gonna use unless i figure something out while the competition's going on we'll see dragger hey dragger says 30 well no i i could have done 30 with the new nft build if i wanted to b rob says 65 that's a very good guess very very good guess well, Rachel, how many are you making? I did hear a couple people struggle with this one. It, I'm assuming because of the honey, honeycomb, and lumber. I'm guessing that was the main issue, not really anything else. Rahif, between 55 and 60. Also very close. Technically, I guess that's not it, though. It's between with Rahif and with Biroff. Yes. <laughs> Martin, I did read what you said about Rahif build. I did read what some noticed, so I take that as hints of what to try. Yes. Um, hopefully, it helped you out as well, Martin. Rachel, like 22 with NFTs. Yeah, um, you, you probably struggled making the build, huh? I mean, I'm not I'm not going to lie and say it was super easy. It wasn't that easy, but it's not the hardest one I've done. I like the challenge. There are some builds that I don't like to do, like I don't like to do stack boxes. I, I really don't even like to do sushi boats, even though I've done it a bunch of times. Or maybe it's because I did it a lot of times that I don't like it. I'm not really sure. All right. Competition starts in like two minutes. I should have everything sold here. I need to think about what I'm going to do at the start. Probably. Who am I kidding? I'm going to sell gold. But should I sell wine bottles too? That's the thing. I actually didn't calculate exactly how much money I need. I know it's going to be expensive, but also I don't have to worry about building a nuke. I might sell some wine bottles. Also, oh, okay. It was like, what happened with the music? It was quiet for a bit. Hmm. Jewels, when that's, it's February. Jewelry is like in two weeks, I think. 
next week is going to be also a new meta. I think next week is actually going to be Valentine's Day cards. I was under the impression that this week, the one we're doing right now, is going to be Valentine's Day cards, but uh, it turned out to be red envelopes for the Lunar New Year. Makes sense. So next week should be Valentine's Day cards. I mean, we got the stationary, so use it more than once, right? Is the music just really quiet for me? Yeah, I think that's it. Yep. Okay. Must have been it. Alright, one more sale of ice and we are off. Mir Z, hello. Gonna be so sad if that town resets. The tweets, hello. What is the tip you have for this build? Uh, save up a good amount of money and hopefully your build is not cash negative. There's a chance it might be, depending on the production rate. Um, for cash rush, I, r I recommend doing gold. Don't do bamboo shoots. I don't think bamboo shoots will make you enough money if you just sell that for cash. Okay, looks like the competition has started. Argo Beleno, hello. I will be playing with untested build. That's always a big risk. I've done that before, though. As long as you have enough time that you know you're, you're probably going to spend most of the day or all day trying to fix it. Don't want to give up midway. All right. I'm going to have one made one main road. So I want to set that up first. At least they give us a bunch of bonds to sell if we're not going to use them. These two are roads all well yeah let's let me go ahead and do that so i don't mess up later all right we turn on miranda skins based on the forges oh i need to collect wood right away because there is no wood here Like, they don't start you off with any trees this time. Bukari, hello. So do you have a plan or not? Bukari, because um, I know you said you didn't have time. But yeah, I didn't even tell you guys my production rate. I just had you guess. But it was between Rahif and B Rob. Um, so I should be able to do at least sixty per hour. I'll just go ahead and tell you. It's not gonna be a surprise. Uh, yeah, should be able to do 60 per hour. Uh, my practice build, I left it running overnight and it was doing very, very close to 62 per hour. So if I get that same rate, I think it was 61.8, right? If I get that same rate, I'll be super happy. Not exactly sure how the other people are doing, but that's how I'm doing. And I hope it's enough for top 50. I don't know if it'll be better than that. I think if I wanted to do better, I'd probably need to get that Lantern Festival NFT. Although I don't want to. I'll wait for something else. Okay. 
Got some nice clear space. Where can I put the panners at? Oh. Got another road over here I can put them on. I think that should be good. It'll help me stay organized. Enters. Right, I got all the panners down. Now I need to put the forges and I also need to be building the gold. And this time I need to make sure I put enough actual gold panning sites because last time I didn't have enough. And well, for now, yeah, the dragon actually, I think it does go there. Oopsie. Yeah, Amir says oopsie. I also need to put down the tree. Good point. Don't forget. Oopsie. The uh, rings. This is for the gold rush. Improves it. Makes the forges faster. Which I still need to set up. Gasoline. I don't need gasoline. Hey KC, what's the target dub? So I was doing 62 on my practice run. That's what I'm going to try to do. The exact same thing. My practice setup had a couple of spots I didn't even use. I don't know if I'll figure something out once I'm finished with the build. We'll see. If not, I'll just leave those spots unused. Not a big deal. If I can do 62 per hour, I'll be happy with that. I think it'll be competitive enough for top 50. Bukari says, I'm going to go with Rahi's build, then tweak for my NFTs. Okay, good plan. If I only do gold rush, I think it'll take me two hours to get all the money that I need. And it might actually be faster if I do wine bottle rush. So that's why I'm still thinking about it. Martin, reminder for you, keep the heck some money left. <laughs> no promises, Martin. I don't need this oil seep. Am I running gold? Um, I am. I just didn't put it on auto sell. That's on me. That's fine. Hopefully I didn't lose too many. Uh, it's been eight minutes, so I can't imagine I lost much. Uh, I don't think I lost any. 
No, it doesn't look like I lost any gold. It just barely got full. Oh, it's because I was making energy as well. Okay. Oh, I had another warehouse over here. That's right. Okay. So yeah, I didn't lose any gold. That's cool. Homeboy Gaming, hello. Good day. Good luck. Thank you. I hope it goes well for me and for you, homeboy. Hope it goes well for everyone. Some people mentioned this, but I get the feeling that um, some people really aren't going to try on this one. Maybe it's a little too hard for them. But like I said, I don't think this one's that that hard. Maybe just the honey and the honeycomb scares people. I I'm not really sure. Gari's jam rush is done. All NFTs. <laughs> yeah, you would get that done quick, huh? I mean, my gold rush is basically done. I, I am probably going to set up some kind of wine bottle rush for more money uh first i want to clear up all this stuff oh i should turn on my uh corrupted it's not too late i'll put on the rest of the effect cards a little later clear all this up because i like having a nice clear map Not something I recommend, it's just something uh, I have the ability to clear up the whole map just because I, I can sell a lot of gold at the start. Gives me a lot of money. That would be better used to start building the the uh, wine bottle rush, but you know. Let me start gathering lumber for that and energy. Lumber. This gives it passive energy, and then this will give it passive water drum. As for energy... I'll do it right here. I'll move this stuff around later on. I don't need the builder house. I have all the bots down. My crane bots. I don't need that storehouse. I can get rid of this. Epic name, hello. I don't think it's hard. I am just over anything with glue, bees, and potteries. There are a lot of stuff that uses glue, bees, and potteries now, huh? I don't know the exact list. I want to go back and check later on. My eyes are like itchy. Ah, oh, it's fine. Yeah. It, it feels like there's a lot. And with that, I feel the value of the haunted maze zones and the rare party shops have gone up because of there's more utility for those nfts now because of these metas which is cool boom clear map martin says more easy to start gold rush indeed now to wait on for sale just build power plants we'll make energy later for potteries yeah, it'll be easy with the oil seep. Okay. Let me move oopsie. Well, I'm, I'm going to be moving stuff here and there just because I'm going to need to build a couple ponds here for later. I probably should have kept that well. Let me... That's not what I meant to do. Oh, uh, wind pump. You can just make a wind pump. I could just use my water towers to build all these ponds, but eh, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, I'm gonna need to make ponds because the bamboo farms need nine water in order to grow bamboo shoots. And my water towers alone won't be enough. I do need to make more gold panning sites also. Let me do those. Those are more important. know how many I need. Let's just put down a bunch. Let 
This will be a row of pawns, and it'll make sense later. Yeah, I should rotate my gold penny size. Thank you, Glenshaw. It's like a strategy that I know, I just don't do it right away. And good morning, Glenn. 1 a.m. in Western Australia. Oh, wow. You wake up early for the competitions, huh? I know Tofu, whenever he used to do the competitions, I don't know if he still does, but like, yeah, I think he would wake up at 3 in the morning or something. Truman, hello. Let's see. Just put these down and we'll see how long it takes to do those. Uh, yeah, it's whatever. It'll get done eventually. Actually, I need more wood production. Yeah, it's not going to get done if I don't have enough wood production. Get rid of that. Did I get rid of my hatching? Oh, I did. I moved them for something. I don't remember what I moved them for. There. It's already coming along. I feel like I'm half done. <laughs> I'm not, though. This is the easy part. Alright, once all these gold panning sites get built, then I am done with the gold rush. I'm going to start placing down the other roads that I need to place down. And from that, I'm going to figure out how I'm going to set up a, a small area for wine bottles. Doing a very specific setup with the roads here. So what I'm doing here with the roads, I, I call this spotted roads. I don't know if we have a name for it. It's just whenever you place on a bunch of roads and they're not connected. So I just call them spotted roads. Usually when I make the no NFT builds, they're going to be clean a bunch of straight roads. Sometimes it is more convenient to do spotted roads like this. Just one of the strategies you guys can keep in mind whenever you're working on your own design. It allows you to have more buildings placed down, but all your workers are going to move slower because there's no roads connecting them. So you usually only want to do this for things that don't need to move back and forth a lot. So like I still have my main road here and that's because I'm going to have a bunch of loggers and tractors moving across this road and beekeepers also. Yeah, sometimes it helps to make a spotted road design. Okay. That might be other roads. So from there, I need to figure out where I'm going to set up some something for the wine bottle rush. Ibuka, did you know that Hajang Jr. price gone up to 200? I did not know that, but I believe it. Makes me wish I bought a hundred of them, to be honest. Wajur, I've been here the whole time. I was just focusing on my rush. No problem, Wajur. Hello. Spotted roads is a good term. I use them for tractors and loggers. 
that is one of the best ways to implement them since loggers and tractors don't or shouldn't have to go to their home very often. Wayne Johnson, hello. Says, hi Wayne from South Africa. What's up? Shout out to South Africa. All right, I'm at 1.5 mil. Go ahead and rotate these. This is going to be a road so I don't forget later. I need to set up the mineral stands for the wine bottle rush. Little wine bottle rush that I'll do. Okay, the warehouse is here. I can probably make another warehouse over here though. Yeah, that's fine. Been a while since I actually do this in the competition. All right, it needs to have three silica, one chromium, one limestone. That's right. And the iron to build the actual building. Lumber and wood. My lumber rush to where it's actually supposed to go. It means I also have to move the storage. So I should be able to use that lumber pretty quickly. Oh, well, let me build loggers too, because I'm obviously going to need those to get a bunch of lumber. This tree. Right here. Right. Because I do want to have the diamond water pump here. What that's going to do is it's going to double my water drums from all the aquifers I'll have. And I'll have a couple of these because I need the water drums for the lumber mills, the pottery shops, and the stationary shops that are going to be making eco paper. So you do need a lot of water drums for this. 
And of course, if you're going to be making limestone from the mines, you're also going to need water drums for that. But really, the only water drums that you should be crafting are the ones for limestone. Everything else should have passive water drums. Because that, that is also what I did for the no NFT build. So I moved the lumber storage right there because that's exactly where I plan to have it later. That way I won't have to move it again. I should actually do the same thing for the warehouse. So the warehouse should actually be right here. Okay, let's start making wine bottles. A lot of gold ore. All right, that's good though. One boy asked what rate I'm looking for. I was doing my practice build last night. I left it running overnight, homeboy, and it managed to do very close to 62 per hour. It, it was doing 61.8. So that's the rate I'm going to try to do. I'm going to do the same thing. I had like five spots that I didn't even use, but like it's fine. If I can make at least 60 per hour, I'll be good with that. R Santos 1988 over on Twitch. Hello. New to the game. Awesome. So. Did, did you just start playing? Like, is, is this going to be... Are you doing the competition right now? It's going to be your first competition? Or you just started playing a couple days or weeks ago? Roger, I'm going for 40. It's a very good rate. Without NFTs, I don't think 40 is doable. But, like, what with, with some of them, yeah. It's not going to be easy, though. I mean, I, I don't know what NFCs are working with, Washer, but 40 is not like that, that easy. Did you practice, Washer? Like, do you know your design does 40 already or what? Dragger says, what's a good rush to focus on for no NFT build? I haven't played closer to a year. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, for this competition and most competitions, honestly, Dragger, I would do the gold rush. If you haven't played for almost a year, you probably don't know what that is. I have made a video showcasing gold rush before in another competition. Uh, the biome layouts almost like it might be the same or almost the same as that one. I made the video for that. But yeah, if you have no idea how to do a gold rush, I would suggest checking that out. But essentially, you want a gold panning sites, you want trees, you want to build forges. These right here. Craft gold. Have an ore storage for the gold ore. Have panner houses that you're going to need to build. Sorry, I have most of this stuff on the NFTs. Yeah, just these regular panner houses will do at the start. And yeah, warehouse to store them in. You know, a regular warehouse. Not these NFT ones. Sorry, Dragon. I have all... <laughs> My whole rush is almost all NFTs. Except for the panning sites and the trees, I guess. Guya, hi, Deb. Good luck. And good luck, everyone. Hello, Guya. And thank you. Got four bottles. Four bottle sites. Got those to auto-sell. Last factory. Mm. I'm missing a road there. Yeah. There's supposed to be a road right here.
Silent Ride. Okay. Got all the loggers done. Thanks, I look into it, no problem. Pleasure. No, I have uh, no idea. I only practice the cash rush. I'm not sure you'll be able to do 40, to be honest, Wajer. Like, even with, like, a decent set of NFTs, people weren't able to do it. So, yeah, just, just a heads up. Try to aim for at least 30, if possible. But maybe not 40. That might be pushing it. Like I said, I know some people can do it. It's just they, they have a good amount of NFTs. But how, how many people are able to do at least 40 per hour? If you're able to let me know. I can build that one. Yeah. Oh, there we go. This one might be a little too far away. I'll build it anyways. That's fine. Yuan, does 40 with the maze set can be achievable? Probably. I think, Yuan, I think with the set, you could probably do 40. Coordinator, I can do at least 40. I'm sure you can, Coordinator. <laughs> yeah. Martin, in my dreams or fantasy, I, I think I can do it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Don't know all the NFTs, so I don't even know for sure. Yeah. It's because the haunted maze zones help out so much. Save a, a lot of space and time. Not needing all the nectar and all the clay lumps. What is full? Let's move this around. So the aquifer is supposed to be... Actually, let me just move it there. Solar panel over here. So yeah, these have energy and water drums now. And I also want... I'm going to want a lot of lumber. So there's two more sawmills. I don't have the effect cards on, do I? Let me turn on guided blades. I saw the prices for the zones. Yeah, yeah, people told me they they went up in price a lot. I'm sure the maze zone owners are happy though. Missing energy. Yeah. Let me have these buildings face each other. That way it's a little quicker. Looks like all the ponds are done. But it shouldn't need the wind pump anymore. Assuming everything's right. Yeah. Most of this stuff's gonna be bamboo farms. It's just that I don't need them right now.
Haunted Maze, Zone 2 for the passive Clay Lumps. Right here. Yeah, so this area is going to be my pottery shop area. That's what they're called, right? Yeah, pottery shops. So I can make all the ceramic bowls I need. The way I set up my spotted roads here is a little different than everything else. Because these three spots right here. Oh, that one. And these two are not next to a road. That's on purpose because the stuff I place here doesn't need a road. So like the spot next to it, it's going to be zone three. It gives me passive salty to salt fields. That's not useful at all for what we're making here. But I do want to have the full set place down so that I double the effects of the ones that give passive nectar and the one that gives uh, clay lumps. Yeah, so zone one gives the three passive nectar. That gives one passive nectar, but that, now they're doubled. So now this gives six, now this gives two. Now this gives four play lumps. JJ, what's up? So what's your production rate, JJ? You know I'm wondering. I didn't go around asking people what they were making, so I don't even know how mine's going to hold up. I think the only person I saw, I, 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 a couple people shared their production rate, but I saw Camrar, or the, he goes by the farmer, I think. He shared his production rate. I think it's like almost the same as mine. I don't know how many more of these I'll make. Maybe like three more? gonna be a small wine bottle rush so i think Can I... no i can't put one there that might be it actually yeah i might not do more glass factories than that to get all the money i need in like an hour i'll build everything else after this want to move two of these Yeah, it's almost done building. Need a few more loggers. And I will also do the tractors. Times like this are where I love having these 10 crane bots. All this building that I'm doing super quickly. Johnny and Good. Johnny B. Good has subscribed. Thank you so much, Johnny. Appreciate it. Turn that on.
Got a bunch of wood and lumber. Not really that much energy, but, but that's okay. Wonder if I should make like a power plant or something. Although I, I don't really want to do that. I'm like at the point where having two of these would actually be useful for me, which is freaking crazy because one should be more than enough. But yeah, if I had two of these, I would have all the energy I need, which is what I thought when I, I bought one of them. Uh, but I, I don't think I'm going to buy a second. Yeah, Pokari, you probably do want to make a nuke. You probably have to actually with all the pottery shops involved. You got passive gas stun, sweet. I don't see how you do this uh, efficiently without the nuke. You, there's way too many pottery shops involved. Every once in a while, I'll check on Eternal Paradox. So I think this is... This is a good time. Give me a minute. While I wait on everything to build. No, actually, I'm still good. I don't need to check anything on here. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm good right now. Okay. Let's name my town. Take a look at the effect cards. Now, now's a good time to do that. So, silo. What else do I need? Got a hasty tractor. Opie storehouse. The hasty barista, right? No, nah, it's not gonna. It's not gonna be useful this time. Yeah, Garmin Specialist. I put too much thought into just supplying what I need. Pretty sure most people just supply everything. Um, I think that's it. You know what we're missing? An effect card for the Clover Fields. I wouldn't use them, but... For the people who don't have the haunted maze zones. Something to reduce the crowd time of this would be nice, right? Like the meadows. I mean, I don't use the meadow card. I keep it as a trophy. Yeah, I'm mostly waiting for energy there. So I'm also going to build the beehives because those don't need energy. So I can just get those done now. And I'm going to have to figure out how to do all the rotations for them because I forget. The way you rotate your beehives, guys, is pretty important. Uh, I, I need to spend more time talking about that on my videos because I honestly, I forget about that sometimes. But yeah, rotate your beehives. Very, very important. At least I think so. Is that too many beehives? That that's too too many actually. Is it? Um. Oh, yeah, I'm missing a row. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, that looks right. Ooh, I know where to put my tree. Right next to the bees. So they can have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone, and a Happy Lunar New Year. Makes sense. Yeah, those got built really quickly. Well, I will build the pottery shops as well. Yeah, I think I only need to build those. Yeah, yeah, because I have five of them that are NFTs. I don't have to build the NFT ones. And I'm also going to need the Wizards Workshops to make blue with. Pantry will go here. Yeah, let, let's do that. Martin says when bees are on the right, the door is at the on the top. I tested. I thought where they stay is the entrance, but no, to the left of where you see them. Wait, you are correct, and I I forget that as well sometimes. I have to remember, I think it's like this. So the bees right here, you would think that's the entrance, but no, it's to the right. So in this case right here, it's, it's easy to tell because I have the road. They will always point to the road when you build them. So this beehive, the entrance faces the road. All other beehives that do not have a road next to them, the, the entrance will default to the south. So this one doesn't have a road. You see the bees? They're facing this spot, but the entrance is to the right of them. So the entrance is right here. Entrance is south. River is on the south. I have to rotate it so it makes more sense facing the lumber storage because most of the time they're going to the lumber storage or the warehouses to pick up but yeah that's the only place they're going to to pick up the lumber and the ceramic bowls stockpiling iron now says Pospari. oh did i actually turn all these on not this one okay yeah that reminded me because i had the uh the glass factories building and i had the legendary stylin right here Okay, that, that should be plenty of wine bottles. It should take me less time than it would have if I didn't do this to get all the cash that I need. Okay. I'm not going to turn these on yet, but I do want to rotate them. So this one's facing the road. Actually, both of these are. So those are already good. I want these facing the roads. So this will be three rotations, three rotations. Pretty much should be the same for all of them. This one's already facing the road.
I think I had some of these differently. I don't know if it has to be exactly. It probably does have to be exactly the same, but we'll see. Oops. One more rotation there. I'm going to have them all facing this side. I think that's what makes more sense. Hopefully it works. Not exactly the same as I practiced, because I think some of these roads up here were facing the pantry. But we'll see. If I'm not getting the exact correct honey and honeycomb rate, I'll rotate them again. Martin, I did turn for turn to see where the lumber was brought in, and the bees had to be on the right. So bees at 3 o'clock was or at 12 o'clock, yes. I'm going to do the same for the pottery shops. I have them rotated facing this area. This one can be an NFT because it walks faster. Actually, no, don't make ceramic bowls just yet. I don't need them. Not yet. Not yet. Damn, I'm out of lumber and wood and energy. I'm out of everything. Not money, though. So Martin won't get mad. <laughs> but how you put them is opposite. That confuses me. Mm, they're, they're all facing this way. The right side is over here. Yep, right side is right here. Uh, once I turn them on, uh, you should be able to see. I'm not going to turn them on just yet because then I'll lose all the lumber that I need to build everything. But the stationary shops will all cost a lot of lumber, wood, energy. This will be potteries, then so will these. I'm just going to do them later. Aquifer is supposed to go here for these sawmills. This one doesn't have water drums yet. That's because this is supposed to be an aquifer, but I'll figure that out later on. Once, I'm, once I have all the money I need from this. Well, no, no, yeah, yeah. I'll figure that out later on. I do need to make two fabric plants working on those. Those are almost done. I'll go ahead and make the fabric plants though. Mm, feels like I'm making a lot of progress for the first hour. Still need to make the expensive part though. I want to set up the bamboo farms, even though I'm not going to store them just yet. But I don't know if that's going to like lag up my game. Or maybe I can store them. Yeah, let me just try to store them. But that's not where the silo is going to go, but I do want to make the bamboo farms. Because I think if you have like a bunch of an item being destroyed, I think it might cause some lag. 
And if I just put it down a bunch of bamboo farms and I don't have a silo, they're all going to get destroyed. That'll work for now. So these will make glue even though i'm not making the honey and honeycomb yet they have the passive clay lumps from this haunted maze right here these also have passive clay lumps they just need to go to the big pantry right here to collect the honey and honeycomb and conveniently it's next to the beehive so the beekeepers don't have to walk too much to deposit the honey and honeycomb Cedar's PC, hello, says he's late to the party. All good. We're almost an hour into the competition. Feels like I'm half done. Let me try to calculate how much cash I actually need for all the stationary shops. I think I need 19. Nineteen of these. That's what, like fourteen mil? Thirteen point five mil. Okay. About fourteen mil for the stationary shops. I need two more wizards workshops for mystic matter. Oh, 1.1 mil. Okay. 16 mil for everything. Yeah, I need 16 million cash and I have 6 million. Okay. So we're probably going to be waiting a little bit to get the cash. Just a little bit. Making really good progress building out everything else that needs to be built. I, yeah, I don't have to turn these on right now. There's no point in making cotton right now. Cotton yarn or cotton. I'll make these two wizards workshops for the mystic matter. I'm gonna need a storehouse to deposit the glue in. It's gonna be right there. What way did I have it rotated though? Damn. Can't actually remember that. I think I had it rotated facing the wizard workshops. I think so. I wanna move that diamond warehouse because I actually want it over here. But I'll temporarily make another warehouse here because I'm still doing the gold rush. I want this here for the ceramic bowls. They can place them here. The beekeepers can pick them up and use them for the beehives. And they'll also need to go to the lumber storage for the beehives. Because that's the closest that I could set it up. Because lumber storage also needs to be close to the fabric plants for the cotton yarn. And then this warehouse will mostly have the other products like the eco paper and the red envelopes and the gold. It's 
Satyr's PC. I wanted to ask because I was super busy the last few days. Do you guys gold rush this one or did you use bamboo rush? I recommend you do gold rush because you'll be able to earn more money with that. I did test out like a bamboo rush thing. I, I even said I was going to make like a video on it on the, the last week's stream because I thought it was going to be viable. It, it's not worth it. Bamboo Rush might make you 1 to 2 million cash per hour. Gold Rush can still make you 4 to 6 million cash per hour if you do the whole town. Like, set forges almost all over here. Your gold ore and trees over here. Maybe You're either going to have a freight pier or, or a bunch of trade depots. Both ways will work because of the passive crude oil you get from the oil seep that I deleted. But yeah, you're better off doing gold. Martin says Guillermo's number one, really? Oh, nice. There you go. We got we got a dub member number one. I guess nobody sold red envelopes yet. That's good to see. When Gold Rush seen bamboo is 21k, gold's about 20K. yeah. You must have the oopsie place down, Martin, but yeah, you're pretty much right. So this will make Mystic Manor. Both of these will have the passive limestone once I move everything to where it's supposed to go. No problem. I thought surely Bamboo uh, Shoot Rush was going to be viable. Because they boosted the cash five times over, but no, it's still not. Even if you bought the Lantern Festival NFT and to like double your production, it's barely gonna like come close to no NFT gold rush. It's an, what's an oopsie? You already know what it is. You already know. Oopsie. It's when the uh, the Common Ground World team makes an oopsie, so they give us an oopsie NFT. That's what it is. Which was good compensation. Competition gets cancelled. We're already, like, some of us are already done with the build. Well, actually, I don't remember how long the competition went on for. But yeah, it gets cancelled and we get a compensation NFT with a unique utility. I was all right with that. I know to some people that don't rank very high, that NFT is worth more than the prize they would have gotten from finishing their design and running their build for the full three days. They might not have realized it at the time, but it is. Cedar's PC, I never got an oopsie. Ah. Uh, yeah. I know you would have had to participate in that competition before they announced that it was going to get cancelled. A lot of people got it. I know not everybody did. Martin, when they make an oopsie, how come we only get one? We are two years further than a few prompts. There's a lot of oopsies, Martin. That one was a big one. That's not the only big one, though. But yeah. Seven million cash. I'm halfway there. 14 mil. For all the stationary shops. What else can I really do here? Just start building the stationary shops? Gathering lumber, wood, energy... I'm going to go ahead and turn on these pottery shops. I just need to make sure that I auto sell bowls. We know, Martin, we know. Rotate that. Oh, that one's already on.
Uh, yeah, that works. Okay, so all of these are on. Great, I'll turn this on as well. It's just gonna be waiting on cotton for a while. Oh, I forgot to auto sell the bamboo shoots. That was the whole point. Dragon's gonna be pretty busy. Planet Bob? What's up, Planet Bob? Uh, you could still get the UPC NFC after they announced it. My wife's account created a ton and sold a few things. Ah, they just didn't want you to know that, Planet Bob. Sneaky. Make one there and two over here. And some of the ones that are making red envelopes are going to be up here. Let's do those for now. I don't want to get too confused. Build up almost the whole map. Peter's PC, would you ever consider or do you have a video talking about how to calculate build? I don't have a video on how to just calculate builds. I will consider trying to do it. Honestly, the way I make my builds is just by tweaking a design after I come up with an idea. I'm going to try to get into the habit of typing out what I'm thinking about whenever I'm coming up with a design to share at, at least to sh for now to share with my dub fam and super dub club supporters it is more time consuming to do that but hopefully it gives them more of an idea of what my thought process is i could also record it but usually when i work on the no nft builds i'm multitasking on something else or i'm also on eternal paradox would be like a lot of distractions <laughs> but yeah whenever i work on my builds it, it's a matter of Coming up with an idea that I think works, building it out, and then tweaking a lot as I go. Sometimes I don't even come up with the visualizer. I just start placing buildings down and uh, I'll try to figure out the production rate of something like bamboo shoots and then I'll go from there. In this case, whenever I come up with this design, I did the gas production setup first because I, I saw where the oil seep was. I'm like, yeah, you're going to want your gas reduction there. And then I saw where the river was, and I'm like, well, you're going to want the bamboo shoots and the trees over here, right? That's how I set that up. And I think the next thing I did was the whole thing with the, the nuke and the pottery shops. Where am I going to have that? Well, they got to be away from the dirty that's being casted from my gasoline setup. So I'm going to have it over here somewhere. And then I have to think about the section for the beehives. Well, those don't care about shade, but they do care about dirty, so I can't have them close to the the stuff that's casting dirty. And I can use them to separate my crops from my buildings, so I had them like in the middle right here. That's kind of how I the thought process was for the no NFT build that I did for this one. A video dedicated to that though. I will try to see if I can make it happen one day. It would be a longer video though. Cedar, because I have a few NFTs, not I actually only use the non-placeable ones. I don't want to deviate from your build because when I do my town fails. I still recommend you try to practice your own design. Yes, it 
I understand that it probably won't it might not be as good as mine but if you keep trying you will eventually do better and like what what if I just happen not to make a design to share one week I don't think it's happened yet other than when I went on vacation last year but I let people know that I already wasn't gonna make a design but I never guarantee the the build showcases I do fortunately I've been able to do them like just about every week but it's never a guarantee so yeah, what will people do if I just don't share a build one week and they're like, oh shit, I didn't practice. What now? Guess I'm skipping the competition. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I still recommend you practice. I, I find it one of the funnest things to do in this game. The other fun thing is actually build it out and see how it goes in the competition. That's That's the other half of the fun. At least that's the way I think about it. I understand some people are just going to play this to try to win Gala or the NFCs. That That's fine too. If that's what you consider fun, then yes, that, that's fun. It is fun. Winning stuff. Not going to lie and say it's not fun, obviously. That's why we're doing these competitions. Your build throws? Oh no. B-Rob, we just asked Rahif in that case. That's a good plan also. But what if he's busy? Then then where's your plan C, B-Rob? <laughs> and this, I know for this, this week, Rahif was busy. And that's completely fine. He uh, upgraded my the version that I made for the no NFC build. Works even better. That's, that's amazing. But um, he usually makes his own designs. They're usually really freaking good. And uh, he just didn't have time to do it this week. But yeah, that's a good plan B right there. We need like... Um... Hmm. Like dedicated people for the dub community. Or at least the Common Ground World Dub Guild or something. That have excellent builds that they would be willing to showcase. And maybe we can do something for them, incentivize them or something. You know, that would be cool. Cedar, uh, that's why I wanted a video for the logic of build creating. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. Because the build showcases I do, mm, I, I think they do help people and they're a quick and easy way for me to show everything. But I'm pretty much like giving people the answer. I understand that some some people that watch that video don't actually watch the video they just look at the picture of the build and they're like okay that's what i'm making um and then they look at the picture of the visualizer so they know where everything's at but if they don't watch the video they don't completely understand everything and sometimes they'll make the same build and they're like why am i running out of money or why am i not making the same production rate that dub was making well that's probably because they missed some important information that i was talking about in the video it's always possible. I know uh, that happens to some people. And I'm not the one that said this, but somebody else said this. Um, it, it, it takes some skill even to copy a build. Because if you copy a build and it's not working, you need to figure out what how to fix it yourself. You need to figure out what's not working. You need to look at your production monitor, do the math. You can use a calculator for the production monitor, and that is something I do. Like, I'll go, I usually go to Lycan Warlord Guild's Crypto Dudes Visualizer. It has a calculator. If that one doesn't, people have shared the Common Ground World NLO calculator or visualizer that, that has a calculator as well. So, I could, I would use that one as well. And if there's no calculators out there, Ask the community. We got a great community at our Discord dub community. Usually somebody does the math and shares the numbers anyways. So that's cool. So that's why like, I always try to look at the production monitor and I'm like, oh, 450 bamboo shoots. I know it's 15 bamboo shoots per red envelope, so that'll make me 30 red envelopes. So that's kind of how I get the idea of uh, the production that I aim for, what numbers I'm doing.
Need to sell uh, ceramic bowls. So I built one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I can get rid of almost everything. I think I have almost all the cash I need. Or I have all the cash I need. So let me build three more of these. I don't want to get rid of everything yet. Because then I, I will for sure run out of money. But I think I should have enough cash. Martin, you always tell me why, what, where. The guy last week in discussion did not total copy and only made 20 and did barista hot. Choco and mocha wrong. He fixed the thing. Yeah. Uh, Simply Lumber was special place to slow things down. Oh, that might have been why. Yeah, when I did the uh, mocha coffee. Oh, okay. I, I actually don't remember looking at his build. Maybe I did. But yeah, it, he probably had the lumber mill with passive water drums and it was making too much lumber and he didn't have enough wood for everything else. That, that could have been it. I could probably start turning these on. So I'm going to have five of them making red envelopes. These other ones will be making eco paper. Uh, they don't have the passive water drums yet, but they will once um once I get rid of the wine bottle rush. And I kind of want to rotate them so that they're facing here, because this is exactly where I'm going to have the ground silo. Wine bottle helped out a bit. Wine bottle rush. Might have saved me like 15 or 20 minutes. I can get rid of it completely. So ground silos right here. So all these stationary shops can easily pick up bamboo shoots. Limestone stands are going to be right here because I can't put a building there. There's no road connected to it. And it's going to give passive limestone to these wizard workshops making the mystic matter. Okay, I have the five set up making red envelopes. They're going to pick up everything from these warehouses. Um, I don't need wine bottles anymore. That one also a stationary shop? Yeah, I think so. That's the water drum. And these are stationary shops. I can I afford all of them? Gonna run out of money if I do that. Will I regret it? Hopefully not. Cutting it close. Uh Martin says no he did. He built half as you did and the other totally different. I did not know what he did. Oh, okay. You might be talking about... Uh, maybe you're talking about crypto learning. I know he took a break this week. Poor hot. Coco and Tumoka are wrong. Half setup was different than you. Oh, okay. It is tricky trying to do like half of my setup and then changing up the other half. Because like everything's important the way you set up everything. 
Yeah. But it's cool. He tried to do something different. He tried to improve it. And I respect him for that. It's not always going to work. The more you do it, I think the better you'll get at it. Well, some people use like calculators to calculate everything like the travel speed from one building to another exactly how many buildings are gonna need i don't do it that way i i literally just try to eyeball it i try to i do try to memorize the craft times of everything i don't have them memorized i always have to look and i have to kind of account for like how many items are they gonna pick up how long does it usually take to pick up an item? I usually like to say it takes like 10 seconds. Then they got to deposit the item. Are they going to pick up an item right when they deposit it? Because that is important. And let's say for eco paper right here. Well, the silo is really close. So most of these only have to walk like five seconds to pick up and get back to the shop. It's like 25 seconds. The glue, they're probably going to have to walk 10 or 15 seconds to get that. So in total, and the the water drum's passive. So in total, you're adding like 40 seconds. So it's like 234 seconds. Round it up to 240 seconds, because then that's four minutes. And I can make like 15 eco paper for each shot. So that's kind of how I, I eyeball it. And how many of these do I have? Like 10? Making eco paper? Oh, I think it's more. Should it be 14. Yeah, it's 14. 14 shops making eco paper. Each one makes about 12 an hour, according to that math. Should be able to make at least, we're around 168. I actually end up making close to 180. So my math's not perfect, but I just try to estimate it. Usually I over, I overdo the, the time it takes. I rather overdo it than underdo it. So like if I say an eco paper probably takes me 240 seconds to make and deposit and everything. It might only take like 220 seconds so I can actually make more than 12 per hour. I, I rather have my numbers set up that way. Hopefully that makes sense to people. That's the way I think about it. Uh, he has his own YouTube channel. He likes to love and build and learn. Yeah, it is. Uh, I think it's crypto learning. Yes, I know who you're talking about. Cedar, off topic, but I just joined your Discord. I would love to join your EPX guild. And is there a waiting list? Or how do I join your Common Ground World guild? Well, I'll start with the Common Ground World guild. So for that one, we have a requirement where either I'm looking to see if you are one of these three things. First, uh, top 225 in the four and four recent competitions or top 408 competitions, or top 612 competitions. Shows me that you've been playing the game a good amount of time, and that you do pretty well. Um, for the top 600, you, you can do that without NFTs. Trust me, it is doable. So I don't expect people to actually like have NFTs. I don't care about that, but you, I do want people to actually know how to play the game. The guild is more so for people who already have an idea of how to play and they do pretty well. And we're here to help them get, you know, do even better. Because if I, I used to have it to where everybody could join, but now uh, I need to try to limit it or else we'll pretty much have everybody in the guild and that just doesn't make sense. <laughs> it won't make sense once the uh, guild stuff comes out in the game. Uh, but yeah, that's the requirements. Top 612 competitions. I usually just tell people that one. Uh, for EPX, I am the leader of the dub guild. We have strict requirements on that one because it's one of the top guilds. The requirements right now, like as of today, head office 23, 
33 million power minimum it's really hard to reach that it's you got to be like in the top 150 players right now really hard to reach that um if you're trying to join for the new season just send me a message and tell me how much experience you have with those games and i'll consider it but the thing is it's gonna depend on how well you did during season two and yeah mostly it just depends on that really i'm just gonna look at your progress in season two to see how well you did oh this one's actually let me see one two three four, yeah five red envelopes go paper so hopefully that helped you answer those questions go paper so i just need these two I'm not making glue yet, but I probably could be pretty soon. I need to move that witch shed. Oh, I, I need to get rid of the gold rush. I don't need it anymore. I have plenty of cash to work with here. We also have the D2B guild, Deadly 2B, which is not as strict requirements, but as of lately, it's also been pretty full. <laughs> I got, I'm getting rid of the gold rush, but like I am still going to need to make gold. That's why I'm setting it up over here. Since I need gold for the, the red envelopes. Amir. HQ23 is under construction for me. Sweet. And it's not easy. I mean, what is it like day 12 or 13 of the season? Not easy requirements to meet. Peters, how would I prove I'm not quite there for Common Ground World, but doing good? I got top 900 last build, top 600 before that. Uh, prior got 1,200. The, the team has a spreadsheet that keeps track of everybody in the top 1,200. I uh, take a look at that spreadsheet. It has like the most recent five or six months worth of competition, so those are the ones I look at. I'm gonna start making cotton fields so just two cotton fields for the cotton yarn most of this stuff is beekeepers i still need to make those oh actually that's that doesn't go there Need to do the rest of the bamboo shoots. Sydney Sando, what's up? Still pushing hard for that top eight for D2B. Nice. Yeah, Sydney Sando is the one leading that leads to B. Trying to search up bamboo shoot, bamboo farm. Well, Martin, I still think the game's fun. So, if you think the game's fun because of me, well, okay. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I'm not forcing anyone to play though. In most often I'm within 400 but I want to need to improve and I'm aware it takes better NFC. Th yes the the better NFC is help 
obviously i'm not gonna deny that cedar i'm earning e time every day and in some cases i get top 150 to 400 for daily but i'm not meeting the season's requirement i'll try to get in touch for next season's killer state no problem EPX is insane. I've been neglecting real life in some cases. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I uh, I mentioned that on, on the video I made for the E-Time earnings, which I, I probably need to make a new version of that video because there's more ways to earn uh, DPP now, the daily price points for E-Time. Yeah, don't let the game get, get in the way of uh, your life. And uh, I can tell you that uh, being a guild leader on those games is pretty time consuming. And like I I'm leading the guild right now. As I told my dub guild in, in Eternal Paradox, I don't plan on actually being the leader all the time. I'll be part of leadership, but I can't do all the leader stuff in the Eternal Paradox forever. I do want to keep playing the game, obviously. I'm not going to quit the game. I, I really enjoy Eternal Paradox. But the whole thing with leaders is, is there's a lot of things that you want to um, keep track of and even diplomacy issues. And um, all of that just takes time, right? Not the first time I've done it. I've played strategy games like that before. Game is life, says Planet Bob. There you go. Eddie Ha, what do you think would be benefits of having a guild once the guild system comes out for Common Ground World? What we've been explained to uh, Eddie is when there is a guild system, these competitions are still going to happen. But on top of that, there's going to be rewards for the guild. So there's going to be like a second leaderboard, from my understanding, showing all of the guild groups. Now, everybody in the dub guild right now, it's not going to be one group. It's going to be multiple groups. We're going to figure out how many common ground nodes we have, and we're going to create different groups with that. Obviously, just for competitive reasons, the players who rank the best will be in the best groups, and then we'll go from there and we'll create groups that way. That, that's just the way it has to be for it to make more sense for the top players. But we'll all still be part of the guild we'll have the discord chat we'll all help each other out to do better um so and the rewards from that are going to be pieces that will be used to upgrade the nfts or at least the upgradable nfts once those comes out right now the only upgradable nfts are the what is it called the academy that has no utility right now and the composting facility these are upgradable nfts it's just that there's no way to upgrade them right now. So how am I doing here? Eco paper. All of them turned on, so then I can turn on my honey and honeycomb, right? Just need to make sure these are all on. All right. I need a couple more uh, bee beekeepers, and then I'm just about done with my idea, at least. Don't know if I will tweak it any further. Need to make sure it works first. What happened to my wood production? Where's my wood production at? It's kind of weird. Did I use it all? I have everything. Up oh, trees. Actually, well, I'm missing some trees. Missing a few trees. Actually, is this supposed to be something? Oh, no, no, no. I know, I know what's up. Um, so I have a second haunted maze zone for clay that I'm borrowing, actually. It's not mine. But I, I do use it here, so thank you. You know who you are who let me it. 
I am using the second one to have passive clay lumps for just one pottery shop. This one right here. <laughs> but trust me, I need it. Yeah, so it actually does come in handy. Just for this one right here. Just to get a little bit more bulls to push for that higher rate. These are all making glue. No. Well, they should be making glue. Okay. Now they're making glue. These should be making mystic matter. And now I got to turn these on. Let me just turn these on real quick. I should already have them rotated correctly. Oh, forgot to explain to you guys what's making what, but um, basically these four are making honey. And so are these two making honey. All these other ones are making honeycomb. At least that's the plan. If I need to rotate them a little to make it balanced, I will do so later. Got beekeepers right here. More beekeepers here. Should be plenty. If I had the full set of the, the spooky carnival, that would make my beekeepers faster. Unfortunately, I don't have the full set. Um, I would know exactly where to place it because I got a couple spots that I don't use. But I, it doesn't really matter, I think. I think it doesn't really matter. It might actually make a difference. I'm not sure. But uh, I don't have it, so I can't do that test. But this should work. Do I need more energy? I don't think I do. Let me turn this on again. Let's see if it works. Oh, this one should also... Yeah, this one's also making lumber. So I have five of these great salt mills making lumber. I don't think I need more energy. Am I good? Do I have everything? Making honey, honeycomb. Soon I'll be making glue. So I can start making the paper. So that I can start making mystic matter and the uh, red envelopes. This is supposed to be a tree. That's a giant tree. Some of my workers go to sleep, but fine. It, like, that's not perfect, but should have enough workers for everything. I think I'm good. Yeah, this is supposed to be a tree because I don't want the, the lumber mill people going there. I should be overproducing lumber, which is pretty crazy. I know some people would love to have some extra lumber. I might be done one hour and 37 minutes in. We'll see how that works. Our Santos 1988, any help to place the turbines. If you're going to use wind turbines to collect energy, just place them uh, apart from each other so that they don't have any shade casted on them so that they'll have a green craft timer so that they can make energy quicker. Eventually, you would want to have a power plant next to the oil seep. That way you can make energy very very quickly and you don't have to worry about it, it's you know having shade because the power plants don't care about shade great um we'll let this run and we'll see how this works eddie sounds good thanks for the answer i'm slowly making top 100s consistently i'll request for join sometime soon <laughs> amazing did you just start, Eddie, and you're getting top hundreds? What's your what's your uh, secret? Cedar, I'm literally an official Pokemon professor. So yes, gaming is my real life. Wait, hey, I split my life four ways. <laughs> White Pokemon, Gala graphic design, awesome. What makes you an official Pokemon professor, huh? 
what what's what got you that de degree ancient wisdom for today says hi dub joining your live stream for the first time well welcome to the live stream uh, i'm usually working on my build but this week didn't fancy the meta and took a week off understandable uh didn't like the water requirements for bamboo this meta yeah they're they're freaking high and they don't really make sense because i was told i don't really know this but i was told that the bamboo farm stuff shouldn't need too much water at least in real life i don't know it doesn't doesn't it doesn't usually make sense when you compare it to real life right we got mystic matter and christmas buildings anyways yeah i, I can understand that people with like water nfcs like me love the fact that there's a high water requirement but i know it's quite a, a challenge without nfts but mm, like i always say challenge is part of the game i don't really mind the weird biome setups they give us the high trade times the more than one gasoline cost which definitely screws people over but is still part of the challenge. Uh, I know if the build is too hard, if the competition is too hard to do, some people will take a week off, not do it. That's completely okay. Realistically, I don't even think the team, the Common Ground World team expects everyone to play every single week. Like, if you're tired of the game, take a week off. If you don't like the game, don't play it. Uh, but some of us like the game and love the fact that there's a competition every week i love that they're com doing competitions every week now uh, i thought when they did it they used to do it every two weeks i thought that was pretty boring because we would have like a whole week where we're like well there's nothing going on in common ground world so and that's mostly an issue with like the hardcore gamers i guess the ones who play too much <laughs> right because for some people they're like yes two weeks a whole week to practice when I get, uh, when I have time to practice. So yeah, I get that. But I would rather they do the competition every week. What I do want them to do is put the new competition, like, starting biome out sooner. Like, if possible, they should already get in the habit of posting it on Wednesday, even though we're doing a competition already with this biome. They should post a new biome on Wednesdays. So that people who want to start practicing for the next one can start doing so on Wednesday, even before this competition ends. I think that would be great. Bukhari says real bamboo takes very little water and grows fast. Yeah, that's what I heard. I almost take this week off. I thought you were going to. <laughs> um, some people change their minds, I guess. Can't resist. Hexagons. Hmm. I don't I don't know how that how is that your secret Eddie I don't I don't see how that can help you get top 100 in the competitions unless hmm you might have a strategy where you place down roads and you can place six buildings around them maybe that's it maybe that's what you meant yeah earlier biomes would help so much yes Cedar certified and registered to organize Pokemon League and tournaments. Oh, okay. That makes sense. It's a volunteer position, but lots of great perks. I have an expert knowledge of the rules and event organization. Awesome. I believe you now. Uh, Martin, instead of a few RC car or Lego or whatever, I can build using computer. I upgrade the computer and I can upgrade further by NFT. It takes no space, honestly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's That's how it goes with games hobbies i mean some people like to play with legos that's cool i think legos are cool too i haven't played with legos in years but i think the last time i did it is um it's when we didn't have any power and i had a lego set just like a basic one and i was building with it with my sister that was years ago And I can't make no creative stuff like some people. It's just a basic set of Legos. Cedar, I get that a lot until I explain. <laughs> people go, what are you BSing me? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. It might take 
a good amount of time to truly see the the rate for this i need to make sure that i'm actually making the red envelopes which it looks like i just barely am gonna start making them i am making eco papers oh that one's not turned on okay eco paper there we go The silo is gonna have bamboo shoots and cotton these are making cotton yarn it's used for the mystic matter which i am making mystic matter i think these actually have to be like rotated i forget exactly how i had them rotated though i think it's like that it probably doesn't matter i i should be over producing lumber A lot of mystic matter hope it hope it's working the way it's supposed to as far as i can tell everything should be where it's supposed to go um, so yeah, this spot, I didn't use it, so I just have my tree there. Uh, these four spots, I didn't use them. I thought I was going to need to place out more buildings. This whole spotted road thing kind of saved me, like, a lot of space, right? So I'm like, what do I do with these? I don't know. I just had my same bots there. I don't need more loggers. I don't need more tractors. I don't know if I can have more stationary shops. I don't think so. Because the ones making red envelopes don't have the passive water drums because they don't need it. I need to make sure I have a passive water drum for the ones making eco paper. So like, sure, I could have like a aquifer here and then more stationary shops, but I don't think I need to do that. The, the main bottleneck i guess would be that i'm not making enough ceramic bowls and i wouldn't have enough beehives to make all the glue that i need if i really wanted to i could make another pottery shop i could have an aquifer here pottery shop here yeah yeah aquifer here pottery shop right here and here yeah, i could do it then I could move these two wizards workshops. Okay, I'm just making sure. Yeah, I can move these two wizards workshops right here. I can move those two beekeepers right here. So that alone, I already figured out a way where I can have two more pottery shops if I really wanted to. Wow actually might have figured out something to improve this build i'm kind of scared if it doesn't work though might be a waste of time martin says i had nitro rc racing car cost a lot also i have exhaust fumes and often headache day after much stuff and big mess and game online is cleaner and sometimes headache Another way to get a headache, but cleaner. Yeah, RC racing is a is a cool hobby. I I had like a little RC car years ago. I don't know what happened to it. Ever since that, I haven't gotten one. But that that yeah, that was that was over ten years ago. It was a long ass time ago. But yeah, that's cool. Oh, so if I really wanted to, I could have two more pottery shops. I would have to move a couple things around, though. Two mil just to move these right here. Pottery shops. Aquifer. Beekeepers. I don't know if it'll mess up my beekeepers. And I'll have one spot that I don't need. 
I could make another beehive right here. It's just that I didn't need to. But yeah, the extra ceramic bowls would let me get more honey and honeycomb. So look at my honey and honeycomb right now. It's I know it's only been 10 minutes, but that's exactly the rate that it should be making right there. Look at how not perfectly balanced, right? You've probably seen better, but this is very good balancing for the honey and honeycomb. See? 260 glue? Amazing. That's what I want to see. The numbers are looking good. Red envelope's not going to be correct. It's going to take like a whole hour for me to get the right number. Lumber is freaking insane. It's a little too high even. Hmm. Now I'm actually starting to consider making the two pottery shops because that would increase my... Potentially increase my glue production rate. Hmm. Bokari says Rahif's and my NFT collections are very similar for this build, so I decided to go ahead and play this week. That's good. <laughs> then uh, Rahif gave you a reason to do the competition. Yeah, that's cool. I'll let this run for a couple minutes while I decide if I want to do the tweak where I add two more pottery shops. And even then, I don't know if I'm going to do it right now. I feel like I, if even if I do that tweak, I will probably still only get top 50. And I would hate to be in the position where because I do that tweak, that's the reason I don't get top 50, if that makes sense. Like if it screws me over. It's always a risk trying to change something up while you're in the competition. Especially for the top players, because like they all have uh, an idea in mind. Okay, okay we got three people. We got O-Town, yeah. Three people who have sold red envelopes. Where am I at? Seven? Okay, I'm not that far behind. This is looking really good. I don't think I made any major mistakes this time. Yeah. Might take like a good 20 minutes before I sell my first batch, but... We'll see. Oh, double craft and enhanced mercenary gear on Eternal Paradox. That's actually really good. Too bad I have like almost no ore left. I'm just going to do the events. Not really going to try hard on those. The so tweet, sorry to ask, but who's Rahif? You guys mentioned him a lot, and I know him too. <laughs> well, he's a member of our Common Ground World Dub Guild. He's a Dub Fam supporter, so I appreciate him for that. And he makes some really good builds. So, um, he has uh, made designs that people have used before as well. He uses, he has a decent amount of NFTs. So obviously his designs will have a better production rate than the no NFT ones that I share. But but yeah, you would, you would need to have a good amount of NFTs if you wanted to make a design based off his. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's it. Not sure uh, how much he chats on the uh common ground world discussion channel usually I, I see him chat on the supporters or uh guild channel uh pokari says i'm sitting at number 35 right now but i'll be happy with top two through five yeah could be six per hour which is very good i, I think that's the number i was getting in the first couple minutes of my test 
Let's look at the eco paper. Well, that's okay. That's supposed to be 180. Bamboo shoots is supposed to be over 900. The bulls looks correct. 500. Gives me about 250 honey, 250 honeycomb. Um, which it should get to that eventually. Whoa, why is Mystic Matter 93? That's actually too high. Actually, that doesn't make sense. Oh, well, maybe I uh, already had some cotton yarn. Yeah, I think I had already made some cotton yarn. That's probably why. Okay. Doesn't make sense that Mystic Matter is higher than cotton yarn. That's not how that works. I mean, yeah, that's all there is to it. Looking really good. All I do now is consider if I should make two more pottery shops. Bukari, even with bright winds, I have trouble beating Rahe's builds. <laughs> um, I guess that's where the skill comes in play, I, I, I suppose. I mean, he, he probably does spend a good amount of time practicing and he's played a lot of competitions like I have. So it comes down to practicing skill experience, I suppose, whatever you want to call it. As long as I don't run out of money before my first sale, but I should be good. Yeah, if I look down, I'm uh, looking at my phone for uh, Eternal Paradox. I think I'm going to do this in the hands event real quick. Even though I have a whole nother hour to do it, but just in case. Sometimes I forget. Yeah, well, on Eternal Paradox, my main team already has, like, a full set of armor, so I pretty much just enhance uh, the armor on the other teams. In-game, Gala, I buy NFT and money I can spend. I now trade with Gridbots and Phoenix. As long as I can build, I love it. Oh yeah, Martin, you were saying you, uh... Well, the galley you get from the competitions, you pretty much spend it on the NFTs. And then you use the grid bots to make some profits that way. That's cool. I've told you this before, but I, I don't know how to do that. To me, it's like um, when I used to pretty much buy low, sell high. Pretty much. Or try to. <laughs> Doesn't always work. Red envelopes. They went away. Because they take a long time to craft. Hmm, okay, how about this? I might actually build two more pottery shops. That might be the last thing I do here. Maybe. So just in case, I'm going to collect some energy. Lumber is not going to be an issue. And ne neither is the wood. So it's honestly not even that hard to make that adjustment. It's just that I'm afraid it's not going to help. And it might think make things worse, but... It's part of the risk. Worst case scenario, I'll revert my build back to what I had it at. Well, I sure I'll spend my gala on some NFTs if there are any that are affordable, but of course, all the goods, a good ones cost a lot. Yeah, true. The, the good ones cost even more than what they used to cost, I think. Well, uh, at least speaking for the 
Apache Hank Juniors and the Green Forges. Yeah, the grid bots use price levels to trade in slowly and makes profit. You set how big a grid is so you don't miss a move. Yeah. I think, I don't know exactly for sure, but I, it kind of sounds like what some people do on OpenSea, where they set up bots to buy in an NFT really low and flip it for higher. Not exactly the same, but it is kind of similar. I know some people set up bots like that to make money. Sure, I do my own analysis. I don't use bots. I try to use some bots, and for one, I lost money, and the other just made me like 1%. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's never a guarantee, I guess. Bot trading. I've never uh, messed with that, trying to use bots to trade. Probably would be less work, though. No rule against it. I mean, people do it. Okay, how much energy do I need? Five. 10, 20, 30, need 30 energy, I would literally be using all my aquifers, wow, aquifers are great guys, such great NFT, it already sold out like months ago, but Oh, and the, the value of these are also went up, didn't they? Yep, they're great enough to have. One of the reasons they're so great is because Mao came up with the diamond water pump. I guess that's probably why. Um, I keep joking with people, telling them that the diamond water tower is going to come out soon. Maybe. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised. And... The team would obviously make money if it did. Um, we used to make jokes about the diamond power plant, and look what happened. The diamond power plant. It's not called that, but that's what it is. Literally, the diamond power plant. Doubles the energy of... The passive energy of all of everything that gives you passive energy. Can't even describe it. It's so broken, I can't even describe it. Okay, it's not broken, but it's amazing. I wouldn't call it broken. But yeah, uh, imagine a diamond water tower. Damn. Rahif, thank you so much for becoming Super Dub Club. Appreciate it. There's a man, Rahif. An amazing builder. Appreciate it so much, Rahi. Thank you, thank you.
Okay, I only need 30 energy, so I think I'm good there. I think he was dub fam, and then he upgraded to super dub club, so that's awesome. I'm gonna I'm assign your role later, after I'm done with the stream. I need to sell uh, one batch of red envelopes before I make the adjustment because it's going to cost me the pretty much that. It's going to cost me that. Start gathering the wood that I'm going to need for that adjustment. I'm probably not going to have like time to show you how the adjustment's going to do. I'll just let you know afterwards. And if it sucks, if it's not a good adjustment, I'll, I'll revert it back to what it was doing. Like I said, I'm hoping that it makes me more glue. Than what i'm making right now because if it makes me more glue I, I can get slightly more red envelopes just a little bit more and uh th this tweak as far as i can tell shouldn't interfere with anything like i i don't need to pause any production because i'm already overproducing lumber so that's the reason i'm doing it it's it's not a high risk adjustment cedar well something weird is happening my sales are not giving me cash that is well that shouldn't be happening at all like you're not getting any cash at all because i know that's happened to some people it was a bug and i've not had i have not heard of that bug been like a good amount of time i would suggest refreshing your game recently it might be like a visual issue hopefully you refresh your game and the cash should appear but i don't know I'm dropping while I wait for these red envelopes. How many people have made them? Eight people? Okay. I mean... I'll turn this dude off. Temporarily. While I uh, get some wood. Was a visual? Okay, cool. Visual bug. Amir, refresh. There is some kind of lag visually. You're not, but things are happening. Yeah, sometimes it might just be visual. But uh, now people used to have the bug where they they actually weren't not getting cash when doing sales. I, I know that happened to some people, but that was it's been months since somebody's reported that issue. Right, I almost have enough money to sell a batch. I could start building one of the wizard's towers, I guess. I'm kind of just... I really don't want to risk running out of money. It's expensive. 1.1 mil? I even have the Christmas tree to help me with the cash. Yeah. But 
if I sell these, oh, it gives me 375k if I sell those. Okay, that'll help. See money, what's up? It's going very good actually. I'm done with the build, but I think I figured out a way to improve it a little more. So I'm giving it a shot. I thought I was just going to leave it as is, but I'm like, I think I have a good plan to improve it. I know what I need and I, I see the way that that can be done. Two more red envelopes, which I am making them. Yep. So I'll sell the batch pretty soon. Yeah, there you go. See everything. Stop moving it around. I forget to check Twitch, but I have the wrong title. It says it's Echoes of Empire Launch. This ain't Echoes of Empire. Okay, so next week is Valentine's Day cards, huh? Maybe. I don't think it's confirmed. Uh, that's just my guess. We got 25 red envelopes. Do I even have them on auto sell? I actually haven't set up auto sell yet. 25 red. Yeah, let me set up auto sell. Let's do 27 on most of the stuff. Well, bamboo shoots and cotton, I can do 30. Yeah, most of this other stuff can be 27 gold ore. I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't have to auto sell gold ore. No, I'm not auto selling these. I need honey. Oh, shoot. Did I put honey in there? I did. Okay, cool. Uh, take lumber off. I don't need to auto sell that. I think I have everything. And I should have sold my batch of red envelopes. Oh, look at that. Top five. Very good. I got the cash I need for that adjustment. Like I said, hopefully it works. After I build these two, then I build the two pottery shops. Then I place on the aquifer. Then we'll see if it works. We'll see if I get more bulls, which means more honey and honeycomb. I'm not planning on adding more beehives. I could. It's, it's going to be a bit of an issue trying to figure out that rate, though. But I'll see how this works first. Cedar says, thanks for your time, Rod. Uh, you're great. Keep it up. Thank you. Gotta head out. Gotta focus on work and let the town run while I do that. See you later, Cedar. Thanks for stopping by. So I should have the lumber, wood, and energy. Yep. Uh, only have two crane bots. But that's fine. It'll, it'll take a bit to build those out.
35k. I'll be good on cash. Just making sure I have enough cash until I uh, sell the next batch of red envelopes. Checking Discord. Uh, Eddie says, Man, I don't feel confident for a top 100 without passive nectar. Well, I would think most of the people who go for top 100 for this competition probably do have the passive nectar and the passive play lumps. So I don't want you to like lose your confidence or anything, but like top 100 without those NFTs. I, I don't see it happening, but I hope you do as good as you can. Not going to lie to people and tell them, oh, definitely, man, you can get top 10. You don't need NFTs because <laughs> you, you are going to need NFTs for the very high ranks. Can't deny that. The competition where people did so well was the last anything goes. The ones that actually did the full ice build, but like the one I showcased, or maybe they had their own design. Some people, they said they got top 225. They had almost no NFTs, maybe just the free ones that they got from previous competitions. That's really freaking good for almost no NFTs. I think it would have been top 400 easily without any NFTs at all. It's just that it was a lot of work to do that ice build. It takes a long time super expensive Eddie, I took your ice build to top 100. That one, I think, without using too many of my NFTs. So oh, that's amazing. Need to make sure these work. Yeah, it's got passive lime. I mean, they both have passive lime, so that's all they need. Right. After. After this one's done, I'll replace it. I have too much Mystic Matter already. Wonder, uh, I shouldn't be overproducing those though. Like, cotton yarn's at 62. Okay. Remove that. Pottery shop. Because I already placed down the NFT version one, so I don't have any more of those. Okay, rotate this.
right? So just gotta build those and place on the aquifer. As far as I know. This one's not rotated correctly. It should be rotated like that. Yeah. This one's also not rotated correctly. They need to be facing the silo. It's important. Oh, I always try to triple check these buildings. I can make lumber with this again. Caesar, hello, welcome. Oh, somebody start the uh... Oh, yeah, we're good. <laughs> Thank you for the video again, no problem. Glad it's able to help you, Caesar. Take a look at the discussion channel. Not a whole lot over at Discord. Let's see. Farmer Michelle said, Heard some good news today. Today's the day all the old Ethereum-based NFTs in the Gala Game Store get switched to Gala Chain-based NFTs. You'll be able to buy the older ones with credit cards again. So there you go, guys. You heard it here like 30 minutes after she said it. All the old NFTs, they will now be purchasable on Gala Chain, even though they said it wasn't going to happen. They said it wasn't possible. They made it happen. Take, take that as you will. But um, yeah, that's cool. So all the older NFTs, Norris Barnes, for example, there's a lot of them. I, I can't think of all of them right now. But yeah, you'll be able to buy them on Gala Chain. So you'll be able to use your Gala on Gala Chain. You'll be able to use credit cards. So that's cool for the people who wanted to get those NFTs. Oh, Goldie. Goldie is another popular example. Because I know I bought a couple of Goldies when they were on sale to help people out. Because they didn't have the uh, Gala or Ethereum on the Ethereum chain. So I helped them out that way. Um, but yeah, they'll be on Gala chain now. Cool. Credit cards, easy way for people to spend money. I mean, if you're going to spend money, you're going to spend money. <laughs> B-Rob says, what? No way? Well, they made it happen. They found the way, B-Rob. Overall, I think that's great news. I know there's going to be some people that are like, what, you lied to us again? But uh, I'll just take it as good news, guys. That's the way I see it. Okay, so I got both of these built. Ceramic bowls. And you, you can't really, like, blame Michelle for saying, like, oh, there's no way. Because, honestly, she she has no idea. She's not the one that works on that Gala Chain stuff. Bukari, maybe I'll buy a Goldie. Do you not have a Goldie? I thought you would have. It's like pretty popular. Actually, no. Well, Pokari, you do Jam Rush. You don't really do Gold Rush, so I understand. Okay, Grand Aquifer. There we go. They have Water Drums now. It works. It works. This crane bot's still here. I don't know what to do with it. 
Magnus Goldie sold out? Yo, what? Did it? I actually w didn't know that. When? Not today, right? Not in the past 30 minutes. There's no way. Last I checked, when they were on sale, there was like 50 left. B Rob, he does jam. He's too good for Goldie. His jam rush probably is better than the gold rush, honestly. Unless he also picked up a lot of green forges. So he probably doesn't need it. Bukari, I don't have any Panther family, but gold can be in a lot of metas. Well, bracelets don't actually use gold, and we're going to do that in like two weeks. But yeah, it could be. I mean, you use gold in the Nutcracker meta. Magnus, oh no. Oh, okay. You, you have no idea. You just, uh, you're just guessing. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the store. Oh, I should reset my production monitor, huh? Hold on. Mystic Matter. Click on the buildings. Diamond Goal. Um, 58 red envelopes per hour. I'm going to reset the production monitor and maybe I'll stream for like another 30 minutes tops, but that's, yeah, I'm just going to give it that amount of time to see if my idea here works with the two extra pottery shops. And reset. And yeah. See how that works. Oh, now you just saw? Okay. Goldie. It sold out. No, he's right. It it just sold it must have just sold out or something. I don't know. They're gone. All the goldies are gone. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I just read your little announcement. Your little big announcement there on stream. Ah, Goldies are sold out. Well, then NFC is going to probably go up in value. I do need to make a video on the updated uh, top NFTs, maybe the top 20. But like, I feel like if I do that, there's going to be some NFTs that are going to get purchased. And I don't know how I feel about that. It's a good NFT. Uh, Homeboy says, hey Dub, how many beehives do you have making honey? Six? these four yeah these four and these two so i have six of them the other 10 are making honeycombs i just made a tweak to add two more pottery shops so i don't know how that's gonna impact my honey and honeycomb rate we'll see what happens lumber shouldn't be an issue i was already overproducing it and I have an extra spot right here if I do decide to make one more beehive. But then I have to figure out how to balance it, and that's a chore. So I would rather not build another beehive unless I absolutely need to. Martin, oh, what you told me, what I told you about Goldie, just like Junior. Yeah. I should have bought the, the Hatchet Hank Juniors before they sold out. I, I should have bought them. I could have done the same with the Green Forges. I knew the Green Forges was going to sell out when they went on sale. Um, I only bought a couple to help people out that needed one. But I could have bought more and sold them at a higher price if I really wanted to. Epic name. It sold out a few days ago. I bought some extras. Might make some money on them. You probably will. Yeah. And it happened a few days ago. Okay. So it wasn't just right now.
I'll wait on the next sale. I have my projection on when the what NFT will sell out next from the ones on the store though. I do have my prediction. And I've mentioned this before. Although I don't think I want to mention it again. Martin says, and I'm going to finish the honey rush setup and then sleep. Then tomorrow build and adjust. All right. Storming outside. Nice sound. Oh, yeah. So it's always um, I, I actually like when it's storming. Like I like the ambient feeling of it. I don't like when the power goes out, but you know. You already know epic name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, B-Rob. Magnus, they, they, uh, everybody knows what it is. Everybody knows. I've said it before. Then Bob. Cultural side, red envelope filled with money are usually given to young children during Chinese Lunar New Year to bring good luck. Oh, I know it had something to do with Chinese Lunar New Year. And I know the envelopes were filled with money. I didn't know that it was like to bring good luck. So that's awesome. Most of the good smallers are sold out now. Yeah. Uh, Planet Bob this year, my son and his cousins have asked for the equivalents. Red envelopes filled with ro robot, ro uh, I think Roblox, Roblox. Uh, gift cards, and I am getting some weird stares from my cousins during this year's celebrations. <laughs> uh, I mean, what are they going to do with cash when they actually want gift cards for the games that they play, you know? People want to buy stuff online. You, you can't, you can't buy stuff online without like a credit card or gift card. Or, like you can't just use cash on hand martin our power lines are underground if right in usa a lot above it's above ground yeah it's above ground hmm underground power lines huh? i didn't know that Yeah, I'm, I'm just looking at the shop right right now while I wait for the uh, production to work out, work itself out. Um, I see that uh the brilliant sheet pens, there's only 53 in stock, so those are pretty close to selling out. Like wool rush is cool. It's one of the most popular rushes next to gold, like for little to no NFTs. I actually used to have two of these. I, I sold them because I don't use the wool, the sheep pens much. Like I feel like you don't use wool for a whole lot of things. So I'm like, I I, I don't want those. I'll, I'll rather get something else. Like I, I find the Christmas tree to be more helpful personally. Um, but yeah, they, there's only 53 in stock. They're an okay NFT in my opinion. For If you're going to use them for cash rush, yes. But if you're not going to use those brilliant sheep pens for the cash rush, uh, it might not be worthwhile to get them. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm just talking about them because I see that there's 53 in stock. So maybe sooner or later, somebody will pick them up. As for everything else, I mean, eh, I think it would have to go on sale. And I, I think if they do another sale, it would be closer to May Mayhem. Definitely.
part in. Problem here is seeing electric cars and solar panels and power lines. Control boxes on the corners of the streets. And the power lines are overloaded. Oh. Uh, Planet Bob, first batch being sold. Need to go to bed. Good night, Deb, and everyone. Have a good night, Planet Bob. Good thing that you are done with your build, huh? Um, let's see if I can take a look at some numbers here. I mean, Honey and Honeycomb are still over 240, so that's that's all right. Got lumber. Almost the exact same. I'm just overproducing bulls now. Maybe I do need another beekeep, uh, beehive. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know yet. Oh, I sold another batch of red envelopes. I just realized that. I'm just looking at the production. That uh, means I'm still top five. Okay, cool. Very, very cool. Okay, so yeah, I've been running this 10 minutes. I don't see any improvement at all other than not making more ceramic bowls, which I'll just end up auto selling. But that probably just means that I need more beekeepers. Be sorry, beehives. Yeah, um, it's going to be tricky trying, trying to figure out exactly how where i need the beehives like i could have one here maybe i could have one here both of these would have to be making honey which means i could have one of these making honeycombs it's the, i have to figure out the whole balance again if i do that it's uh it'll take a while i have to keep checking here uh throughout the day making sure that the you know the honey and honeycomb is balanced it can be done though, and I, I might actually do that. So I, I'll let this run for another 10 minutes. And if the rate is still the same, and if, I, uh, if I'm overproducing bulls, and yeah, I'll, I'll make, I think, one or two more beehives should be fine. I should still get all the lumber that I need. I still, it's not going to give me a proper rate unless I let, leave it running for like an hour or two. That's the thing. Maybe I should be more patient. Easter sale, maybe? Possible. It'd be sometime in April, right? I mean, where's the Valentine's Day sale? Or has it just not started yet? <laughs> if they make one. Make a sale every month. That is uh one of the bad things about the the New Year sale they did, or the was it the Christmas sale. No, I think it was a New Year sale. Yeah, one of the bad things about that is that they put stuff, they put NFTs that just got released like one or two months ago, on sale, cheaper for w what they actually were when the NFT first came out, and they should not be doing that because then it's going to convince people like oh we shouldn't be buying the nfts when they come out we should be buying them later when they're on sale and you don't actually want that to happen because they're going to be in a situation where they're not going to be selling nfts uh when they first come out they're going to have to wait until they put them on sale and it's not not a good idea like i'm right here i'm thinking about ways for them to improve their sales which that's on that's on them to figure out right but they they should get back to s when they come out with an nft they need to discount it for the first week they used to do that i don't understand why they're not doing that anymore put the nft on sale for the first week that causes fomo and then we a week later goes back to regular price eventually they can run a sale on it and it'll go back to the original price that it was for the first week the discounted price hopefully that makes sense to you guys but um yeah I, i'm not really a fan of the way they're selling the nfts now just to talk about that they should have them discounted for their first week
but I'm sure they got a whole team for that. They know what they're doing. Their way of making money or whatever. Most of these NFTs recently, they're like too meta specific. That's why I haven't been getting them. Okay, what was the most recent one I got? It was either the, the giant Christmas tree or the chocolate fountains. And I think the chocolate fountains will really help out because there's a lot of stuff that uses cocoa. Oh, I'm still waiting for that free chocolate fountain I'm supposed to be getting from the Zelia rewards. My honey and honeycomb rate are the same. A thousand lumber. Wow. Let me see. I only need like 860 lumber at most. Really overdoing it on the lumber. Oh. I think I can do two more beehives. Thinking it doesn't have to be bugs. It could actually just be. It could be these two. Yeah, it could be these two. I can have these two as trees. Yeah, let's let's see if that works. I didn't use a subgrade at all for this one. So I'm going to rotate this two times. I want it facing the north. I think that would be closer. And yeah, I'm just going to have to figure out what works. So two honey. And I will try to see if I can switch one of these out for honeycomb. Did I rotate it? No, I don't think I rotate it yet. Let me check.
No, I didn't rotate it yet. So this one... Let's, let's try changing this one to honeycomb. Once the honey gets me. Um, all right. I'm about to reset my production monitor again. OZ1RIS, thank you so much for subscribing. Appreciate it. Okay, 11 running honeycombs and 7 running honey. And let me clear the pantry, reset the production. Okay, so 59 red envelopes, reset production monitor. There we go. Another like 15 minutes and then that's probably going to be it. Uh, it's not going to give me a stable rate. So I'm just going to probably let you guys know on the Discord once later, you know, throughout the day or something or later tonight. And I, I will most likely continue, we'll have to continue messing with the beehives. It's not usually that easy to balance honey and honeycomb. I'm sure you guys already know that. Unless I get lucky, figure it out first try. Can I do there? It might not actually even make a difference to my production rate, but at least I tried. Let's put the Oopsie and the dub trophy here. The $100,000 NFC right here. Damn. Most expensive NFC I have. Let it run for a couple minutes. I'll probably make an, uh, get another batch of red envelopes. Yeah, in like the next 10 minutes or so. Uh, Farmer Michelle said, as soon as it's live in the store, I'll make a real announcement for it. Okay, cool. Yeah. So as soon as you can actually buy the older NFTs with credit card and stuff on Gala Chain, then Farmer Michelle will make the announcement for that. And that's when we'll know.
they will work right way in game you mean like the new nfts on gala chain i i they should i mean they they already work like my goldie for example is on gala chain because i bridged it over Same thing with the Hatchet Hang Juniors. Well, I had them on the treasure chest, so when they did that whole migration and went to the Gala Chain Allowance, so I got it on Gala Chain for free with no fees. I should uh, check out Echoes of Empire while I wait. I pretty much only get on to, I don't know, do whatever you have to do there. I guess you could say I play the game, but like I, I don't really. Oh. Yeah, you'll probably hear the gala intro. Uh, how do I, can I turn off this sound on this? Do I even have it set up so you can see it? Mm, no, actually, I think, I think I do. Yeah, let me just get on this for like a minute. Uh, yeah. Saved, right? Yeah. Oh, no bother. Yep, I just get on this to collect the resources, which is, oh wow, it's not even letting me collect. Oh, it, it is. Never mind. And do whatever mission it tells me to do. Huh? I, I probably spent like five minutes on this. Usually. Uh, Washer is Echoes of Empire playable for everyone right now. Yeah, it's public for everyone. Playable, public, yeah. Upgrade uh, research lab that's year four. Is it not already? Oh no, the research lab is this one. I forgot. Oh yeah, I, I, I forget. I forget what this building even did. Yeah, I, I did something here and I... Uh, I forgot to check it. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, these make the uh, little support ships. I make a bunch... Well, let me make the ones that increase the cargo. That way I'll be able to collect more resources. I'm not really trying with this game. I'm just like, every once in a while, get on, build up the army. Maybe one day I'll go attack somebody just to screw with them. You know, because that's what the game is. You go screw people over. Can't be all friendly and stuff in this game. Even though I think right now most of the people playing this, they're all friendly with each other. So like I mean I'm borrowing an uncommon celestial claim at 
the coordinates right there x0533 y0452 if you do want to use it i need to renew the efficiency um i get like resources and stardust the stardust gets exchanged for gala every day i probably i've only gotten like five gala from this game so really it's not even that much And I send out my ships to go collect resources. Oh, it's not taking up the full screen, but that's that's all right. I don't feel like uh, changing it. Zane X Legend, not me. I got two of my legendary ships destroyed last night. That sounds like fun. <laughs> Sorry that you lost your ships, but yeah. Okay, I guess not everybody's friendly. Man, Planet Bob, you need to, uh... Oh, he already went to sleep, but his uh, planet's not renewed. Um, and then I go to... Somebody else's. Whoever has theirs... Okay. Whoever has logged on to renew theirs. So this person, um... Potatoes, potato. Right. I could also pay attention to these missions because like it tells me to send them out to specific areas so send a fleet to harvest no I don't want to do the common one uh any celestial object in Aura's edge rare celestial object in Aura's edge so I can do two missions at once looking for a rare one that somebody has claimed there we go Elium. So I'm going to complete two missions doing this. There, two missions done. I sent to a rare and then I sent to any. Uh, send a fleet to harvest any celestial object in the pale. Send a fleet to harvest common celestial object. So I can actually knock both of those missions out also. So the pale is this section of the map. And I'm going to send them to a common if somebody owns it. Do people even own common lands? Is that a thing? Do you know how to recall ships? I don't think there's a way. Um, whenever I first streamed this game, I, I couldn't figure out a way to recall ships. I, I Honestly, I don't even think that's a... That's a mechanic, which is, which sucks that that's not a mechanic. Because yeah, trust me, if you don't know how to recall ships, neither do I. <laughs> okay, I don't think anybody owns common land. I don't even think that's, you can own that. What is the mission? Give me. A blueprint. I don't really know if I even need that, but whatever. I'm just going to send it to a common. Here, I'll send it to the... Well, hold on. Oh, I thought I saw one that somebody owns, but it was just their base. That's just to knock out the missions. Two missions. Uh, craft, hauler. I, I I don't care about that. I'm not going to do that one. And that's it. That's it for Echoes of Empire. How much gala will I earn today from that? Um, How much did I earn yesterday? Let's see. I think I earned 11 gala yesterday from that game. Is that is that actually right? I'm 
I don't know if that's right. Yeah, I don't know, actually. I don't know. That might have been Champions Arena. I'm not completely sure. Whatever. My honey and honeycombs looks exactly the same. <laughs> Has it really been 15 minutes? Yeah. Oh, um. Maybe I need another beekeeper. Maybe that's it. Now that I added more beehives. That might actually be it. That's the only thing I can think of. I will add one more beekeeper. And for now, that's probably the last adjustment I'll make. Because I can't think of anything else. It's going to be really far. Yeah, because I added two more beehives. It would be logical if I need another beekeeper now. Otherwise, I'm getting the exact same rate. Bakari making the first red envelope. Sweet. Does that mean you have your build done? Or you just made, like, partial part of it? Number seven. Be, I'll be shocked if I get top 25 with this design, but I'll be super happy. Temporarily turn this off. I just need to make sure I have all the wood I need for the uh, bee beekeeper up there. But boy, but. Right. Hold on. Why am I overproducing glue? What? Oh. Well, the issue might not actually be the glue then. The issue might be that I just don't have enough stationary shops. That would make sense. Hmm. Okay, I'll build this out anyways. All right, and put the trees back. Take this off. Put that back. All right. Um, I see that the issue might not actually be the glue. 
I'm overproducing glue, which means I am either not making enough mystic matter, which that's not... That shouldn't be the problem. No, mystic matter should not be the problem. The problem most likely is that I don't have enough stationary shops making eco paper. Okay, no, I guess I'm not really overproducing glue anymore. How would I how would we have to leave this running for a couple hours to figure out exactly what the issue is? But more than likely, I would need another stationary shop. And I don't have a a good way to set that up. I suppose I can make a stationary shop here, but then this would have one shade. Uh, which means I would need to move this somewhere else. And I don't think I can really do that, can I? What if I get rid of this bomb? Do I even need this bomb? Oh, really? Do I actually even need that bomb? Wow, that's crazy. I don't even need this bomb. Hold on. Ah, uh, that's funny. No, I did. I don't actually need that pond at all, which means I could move the gold panning site there. Which means green forge could go here. Which means I can have another. Wow. Okay. Thought I was done. Good problem to have is too much glue. Yeah, it is. Hold on. What did I just come up with here? So this makes gold. Walks over here. This casts one shade because uh, I don't have the ring place, so I still need to have it like that. Uh, but these don't cast shade. So they're good. That has four water. That's all it needs. These all have five water. This only needs one water. I actually didn't think of this at first. Alright. That buys me a spot. And I can actually put down a stationary shop. That, well, no. Hold on. I have these backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I had it backwards. It, it'll still work, I think. Greenforge actually goes here. The gold panning site goes here. Which means I need wood again. Guess I'm not done building. Let me turn two of them off. Yeah, because the one shade is going to be casted here if I make the stationary shop. Because the stationary shop casts two shades. actually found a spot a way to put another stationary shop that's crazy making tweaks on stream I, I gotta be done soon though <laughs> I need to eat lunch hungry uh Rachel yeah I wasn't making enough glue in the practice build yeah I think that was uh, most people's issues. Okay, 
I think I have all the wood now, so I need uh, energy. Make lumber again. Make sure they're all turned on. Rid of that one. Put that there. Just need ten energy. Because if if I am actually making more glue, I don't think I had enough stationary shops to make all the eco paper. So adding one stationary shop should help me make a couple more eco papers to maybe give me in the end at best it could give me like three or four more red envelopes per hour. That would be awesome. We'll see if that actually works. If it doesn't, that's that's fine. We'll also need one more bamboo. Possibly. Um if I am actually making 946 bamboo shoots, that would be enough for 63 red envelopes. You might actually be right. And I don't know how I would do that. I would have to get rid of two trees. Well, I do know how to do that. Yeah. Get rid of two trees. Which, can I afford to do that? Maybe. I could get rid of this tree. The Christmas one. And this tree. And that would buy me another bamboo. So, should be able to do that as well. Or one more tracker. Nah, there's... I don't need more trackers, that's for sure. They're already going to sleep. I, I overdid it on the tractors and loggers on purpose. Uh, you would be right about the fact that I, I likely do need one more bamboo farm. Which I think I can do. I was already producing lumber like crazy. So getting rid of one tree should be fine. That tree was uh, farther away than the other ones anyway, so it probably won't affect my wood rate that much. Makes eco paper. Uh, so it looks like it goes over here, so yeah, I should have it rotated like that. Facing the silo. Honey 270, honeycomb 260, so it might actually overproduce honey. But like I said, throughout the day I'll figure out the exact balance on the honey and honeycomb. That's not so something I can do right away. It takes time to like truly see what the stable rate is on that. 
yeah, if I can make 260 glue, that's enough for what? If it's perfectly balanced, 260 glue is enough for 65 red envelopes. That would be a improvement over my uh, the 61.8 that I was doing. Hopefully that is what actually ends up happening. So that's awesome. I found a way to improve it, uh, you know, even further. Because I had empty spots I didn't know what to do with. Looks like I'm using them all up now. Yeah, I don't even have, I don't even have space to put down my trophy anymore. Fully optimized now. That's the way to do it. So uh I'll reset the production monitor again. I think I'll only leave it running for like another 10 minutes. And then that'll probably be it. Need to make sure that my lumber, you know, it's still getting full. Which it should be. Still be good. Uh, check eternal paradox because there's new events now or challenges or whatever craft and enhance captain gear double hmm. more ore spending events great i don't have ore actually i probably do on the 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 land nfts that i own I had a bunch of rewards I forgot to claim from the challenges. I have an unread message, but I don't know where.
Okay, yeah. Maybe it's a visual error. Bukari, off topic, in Champions and Arena, where do you need to finish and rank to get Minting Scroll? Are there other ways to get one without 20,000 pay gems? Yeah, um, just the Arena. So top 200 gives you one Minting Scroll. Top 50 gives you two Minting Scrolls. First place gets three Minting Scrolls. I have been getting... Or, yeah, I've been getting top 50. That's my goal. I think I should probably double check if I'm still top 50 because I know that's the last day of the arena and people are going to try hard to uh, get top 50 or top 200. I got to restart it. Usually when the the, re the season's about to end in uh, Champions Arena, I don't do the, ar the arena because I don't want to de-rank or lose my position basically. The strategy seems to be that people rent out the strongest NFT and try to go up in the leaderboard that way. Uh, Bukhari, I think I'm finishing 249 in Champions Arena. Oh. It's rough around that point because there's a lot of people trying to compete just for top 200. So I'm ranked 36 right now. And I could... Maybe... Can I do a battle... Everybody tries to rent out the same one. Yep. Always in use. There's a, 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 somebody with a level 300 Miko. They're always renting that one. That's like the only one I would rent. Well, hopefully it stays uh, in the top 50. I'll check it again later. Oh, how many minting strolls do I have? I have 20 minting scrolls. I need 26 in order to mint Zafrina for her to actually be an NFT. And then I have Kate Nova, but I haven't implemented her in the team. Um, but I'm like saving up the the fragments to rank her up. And I have like a team in mind now that implements uh so I can implement Kate Nova to it, but I need a champion called Uriel to make it work. And Uriel has not been released in the game. Uh, the reason I need Uriel for that team is because she gives a speed boost to everyone. A 20% turn gauge boost. Like, it's, in my opinion, that's just the way I, I'm coming up with the team. I need somebody to speed everyone up. Uh, right now, I use Barbara for that, but she's really good because she's only going to speed up uh, my main... DPS, which would be Zafrina. I would need Uriel because she would speed up even more. She would speed up everyone. I would want uh, Zafrina and Kate Nova to uh, make sure they go first, if possible. No. Zafrina does a bunch of damage. Kate Nova would stun two targets. Sometimes there's only two people left after Zafrina does her damage, so... And then I would still have directs. Yeah, I have a whole team in mind, but I, I have to wait. I have to be patient. Bukari says, my best season. I rent the level 305 rates. Oh, that's a good one, too. Could never get the Miko. Yeah, it feels like there's always somebody using Miko. And she's amazing, so I, I understand. Looks like my lumber is still very high, so that's good. What about bamboo shoots? I assume higher now than it used to be. I'm still going to auto sell ceramic bulls. It's fine. Probably didn't even need both of those. I might have only needed one. Eco paper might have gone up. That's enough. 195 eco paper would be enough for 65 red envelopes. I just have to wait. Have to wait to see if it works. Five stationary shops making red envelopes. I would think that's enough. Each one can make like about 15 easily. Yep, easily 15 each. 
these would be able to make 75 which i'm not gonna make 75 but i have enough um yeah so i'm done with the build made it better than what i was planning to do so i'm happy about that i hope it works keep you guys updated later any last minute questions comments hopefully everybody's doing well with their build past lunchtime for me so i'm gonna i'm gonna eat something and then the uh, season's about to end in Champions Arena and the Infernal Paradox. So I'm going to try to make sure I get a good ranking on both of those. Mostly Eternal Paradox. So Twist, what is the NFT that makes the timer fastest and stationary? Mine is 240 and 200. I have Miranda skins and open corrupted packs. So both of those are giving me each a 24 second reduction. I think that's what it is. Yeah, around there. Um, the only other NFT that reduces the time is the Lantern Festival. And I think that only works on red envelopes. So yeah, it's a tweet. Uh, Miranda skins and open corrupted packs. That's what it is. Of course, Rachel always i love doing these competitions and hanging out with you all and hopefully I, I am able to help you out as well maybe inspire you teach you something new maybe a little bit of showing off my nfts i don't know but i i hope this is helpful well anyways i i enjoyed doing the competition right part of the challenge yeah anyways yeah i'm hungry <laughs> appreciate everybody um, if you are going to purchase something, feel free to either use my link. It does help support me. I always set aside some funds for future giveaways, so helps everybody out. Um, but yeah, best of luck in the competition. I'll see you guys on Friday when I stream the end of the competition, unless I oversleep. Sometimes that happens. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your day, everyone.